Okay, so I've worked out how to wire the reverse camera on my C200. The reverse camera package comes with the usual stuff. So you have your reverse camera, so it's got a video input and a means to power the video through this wire. And then you have the video cable to route the video signal coming out of this camera onto the head unit. So your head unit should have a video input like this. So you just plug it in. So that's the simple stuff. The, the tricky bit is to powering it up. Now this camera here needs a 12 volt signal uh, to turn on and what they give you is, is uh, sort of these cables. Typically what other installers would do is tap this wire into the reverse camera light but I don't want to be I don't want to tap onto the reverse light of the car. Um, I want to keep it isolated. If it's for the re it's for the reverse camera, then I want to be able to tap it on the head unit itself. This he particular head unit doesn't have uh, a 12 volt trigger um, when you put it on reverse, but it does actually. When you put it on reverse, the head unit switches to the video input, the reverse camera video input. So it, it does have a way to tell that the gear is in reverse. So what I did is to figure out where is the head unit getting it from and I found out that it's actually getting it from the uh, CAN bus decoder. Just zoom it in, if I can zoom in. The brown wire here shows up 12 volts when I put it on reverse. So that's where I'm gonna be tapping uh, the signal from. So what I'll do is I'll, um, uh, this end of the cable has a, a red wire. That red wire, I'll then connect it to the brown uh, wire, and that's where the 12 volt signal will come from when I switch reverse. Now that red wire is actually connected to this red wire. So all that you need to do now is connect this other end of the red wire into the red wire that's that feeds into this camera so what happens is that if i put that on reverse if i put the car in reverse um, 12 volts will pass through here pass it down through this long cable come out here and then feed it to the camera um, so that's how that's how i plan to wire um, wire this thing so this is an alternative to using the reverse light um, on your taillight. Uh, if you don't wanna tap onto the reverse light of your taillight, then this is an alternative. But one good thing here is that this is isolated. Um, um, everything is uh, within this system. Um, I'm not relying on, um, on an external power source. Everything is powered within this head unit. Uh, 12 volt again just a summary just a recap of, of the wiring um, 12 volt power will uh, trigger will come from the CAN bus decoder the, the brown wire um, the 12 volts will then pass onto this red wire um, and pass through this wire come out of the other end so that other end of, other end of the long wire comes out of this uh, red wire that I'm holding. That red wire will pass through the camera power input and that will power up the camera. So in order to prove that this uh, wiring technique would work, what I have set up here is um, I laid it out so that you can clearly see um, how the setup would look like. So the camera end um, would be in the rear of the car. So most of these components will be in, in the rear of the car. Um, whereas the, um, the ones you see here would be the ones in the front of the car. Um, so I've got this uh, red wire um, from this end of the video cable that's going to be as close to the, the canvas decoder output, the brown wire that has the, the trigger for the, when, when the car goes in reverse. So that goes in, in that red wire and and 
I've got the multimeter um, set to continuity mode so I'm gonna test um, whether that is connected to that and it's as simple as connecting that on the other side and you'll see that it's really you know it's 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 continuous the the 12 volt power will pass through to this wire as well so um, I've seen other installers connect both these wires to to the reverse light um, on the uh, on on the tail light and so so it, it to me it doesn't make sense because you connect the 12 volts here you connect another 12 volts there um, but they're actually connected either you use this uh, and ignore these two red wires or you make use of these two red wires to power this up um, at least you have a, a completely isolated system and um, you use the, 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 the head unit to fully power the, um, the reverse camera. And of course, uh, once you connected this to the 12 volt, volt power um, output coming out of the head unit, um, you, you ground these um, black wire to a grounding point. So to make sure that these are all, you know, a, a grounded um, circuit um and that's it so when you buy your reverse camera system just check um what wires are provided by um by the vendor by the supplier um typically it will come with these same set of components um the only difference that you may have is uh, the type of head unit they might have a separate wire for the reverse trigger in my case i don't have to um tap into the brown wire on the CAN bus decoder, but in some head units I've seen that I've worked with, it has a separate wire for the reverse trigger, so it makes it easy. You don't have to tap into an existing wire. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is, this is a typical uh, reverse camera. It should apply for pretty much most of them. Um, the idea here is, yeah, you have a video signal, but you have to make you have to find a way to turn on the reverse camera and how, what they did is to provide these power, power line. You just need to make sure that 12 volts pass into this power line um, when the car is in reverse. That's all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Um, I will answer them and last but not the least please hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification icon So you don't miss any of my future updates. Thanks for watching